Hello folks, this is ASMR Gaming for another episode of Khajiit Adventures. I just realized that after this horrible mission, we do severely need to eat and sleep and everything. Oops. So we need to go into our inventory something. Drink a glass of boiled water. And eating the stolen apples. Let's uh, eat a oh. After a bit more fight you would want to eat a venison. Owl. We are no longer thirsty. Excellent. Now we see. We can see the strength. Strength return to us. But some cheese on that then. Ah. Excellent. How do we feel now? We don't know really. Said I not dirty, tired and sober. Well... Well, well... What I wonder... Is, however... How much... Money we got now. Let's count them. Fifteen thousand. I feel that it could be decent to double check with some people at the castle because I do not remember what price oops, they would want to have uh, for their uh, well house. I think that the uh, house to be able to live in Damn wolf Ooh, that's in that's in expensive arrows Ah, good Well Anyways Let's just take this out. Ah, excellent. What I was going to tell was that maybe we should uh, shake a bit. I don't remember the price of the house. Not so bad. Not 
Take my advice. Never gamble. Damn Ernskar has me in debt up to the eyes. You're indebted. You're indebted to Ernskar. Too many drinking games, too many bets, and I'm too old to ever raise the coin on my own. I can see. I can talk to Ernskar. He's a oaf. I don't know what good it'll do. Ah. I should speak to my daughter, Yvette. She's the brains of the family. Yes, it seems so. Well, I guess all the shops are closed. I guess we're not in time. What do you need? What? Is it open? The streets are so empty these days. I think I... How exciting. Andre, like you, must have plenty of tales to tell. Ah, But excellent. I'm afraid I'm too busy to hear them. That's sad. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? Well, we talked before. Return any time you need arms or armor. My forge never rests. Hello, elephant. Okay. Yeah? I thought adventurers were supposed to look tall. Do not talk down on me, kid. Yes? Want uh, something? You have goods for sale, right? Take a look. Uh, well, these people got all types of shit. Not to say it to them, but however, what we would want to do is that we want to see if we could find a sleeping gear. Oh, yes. Because if we had the sleeping gear, we could sleep anywhere. Fur plate, what's that? I try and buy one, maybe. It's that we need. I'm not sure. If you could sleep on that, we can try it, I guess. Look. Oh, no! Oh, I accidentally bought the plate. Well, whatever you might need. One of those plates anyways. Oh, look, it's a spoon or a ladle. Well, let us be here. sell these well maybe there is some nice cloth dwarven buckler foot wraps no 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 minor sneak we are better padded fur but we have a better gear Ring of magic, what should we use that for? Ranger, rag ropes, no, 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 no. The scale braces, no, 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 no. Weave of pain, amulet. What should we use this for? Wheel of pain. You know what? I'm a bit tired. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. I think that maybe, maybe we should wear. Oh, we already wore it. Well, some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. It's so late. It's so painfully late that we should probably not be shopping right now. It's really not a good idea. Well, look. Look, they're so pretty. Ringnail boots. Ah. The Wheel of Pain amulet. Doesn't this sound badass? We should not buy this. We buy it. Okay. That was stupid to buy that. A bit, well. Oh, look how 
Staff of fireballs. This this is not our style. We sell it. Should we keep it? Or should we you know what? Having fur lets you keep a respectable distance to fire. We sell it. fire. Barbarian armor. What is this? Oh, I think you look like a pirate in it, but I don't really remember. Well, what is this? Shrouded Oath. Oh, this is good. Well, Throat of Strength. That is good actually to have if you would sound fun find something valuable. Well we don't need that wolf belt. Silver ingots. I guess it's fun. This plate is it no it's boring. What else do we have? Fur plate hide. I want to try if you can sleep on it. Ooh, look, this is a nice bow, but well, we don't need it. Let's stop shopping. Sure to recommend us to your associates. As long as we have any money left, so we don't shop I bet my them all could beat you up. That kid is horrible. Yeah. Yes? Wait, I know you. No, you do not. Well, is this our good bar? Is it? No, it's not. It's. What can I do? Down here. Yes? Hello, laborer. They all drink. That's the only thing they do. Maybe we should do. Bad. Daughter keeps me fed. Well, let's go and get a bed. Ah, we are here. <laughs> well, you must understand that Kashit is particularly suspicious against this. I have no business with place. You. Leave me. It's not safe these days. Lots of travelers just disappear. As, uh, well, last time we were here, you might the rumors remember say the that was the vampires. I try not to listen to someone like that. came into a room vampires, and killed dragons. another man. <laughs> Those troubles don't that was absurd. Well, sit, and nothing can be said about it. It's just insane. My father was all the family I ever had. I felt so lost when he. I've okay. seen some truly wondrous sights since I took to the seas. I had no idea, man. Hello, Sorx. We're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Maybe you work here, yes. You no. can say that. I own the place. Oh, it's you. Well, okay. My father owns the Winking Skeever, but it's the family business, so it'll be mine when he kicks off. Yeah, you said that. That's now just weird. talking anyway. 
Papa says that Ella was once in a ship called the Argent Raptor. But he wouldn't tell she me struck why an not. iceberg and went down just north of Windhelm. Oh, mister. You have an excellent gear. My shipmates scoff at my love of fire. I don't think about it. No. My it. Papa says I'm gregarious. Just like him. He says it means smart. Hello. From ship's captain to lowly crewman. I suppose I deserve it after wasting all my coin on gambling. You look harsh. I've only been a part of the Red Wave's crew for a few weeks. But I've already ah. learned to stay out of Captain's Ah, Sons. yet another new face. True. I'm from Hammerfell. I may look the part of dashing track swordsman, of all the people I've been but I prefer the art of wit to over that. Your minute. typical well, solitude wench is like the city of good book. Ah. Stormy exterior. Hello, I'm Gisley. But you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. <laughs> It's getting become colder and more depressing than usual. No, it must be you then. Oh, if you're looking for a good attitude, go see the bards. They'll fake it for you if not. If you're looking for truth instead, see Noster. He's a good example of what life has to offer. And if you're just looking to feel good, go get some spiced wine from Yvette. But whatever you do, just leave me alone. Yes, I will. We'll speak again later. Oh, really? You are weird. It suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious, but a well-made arrow strikes ah. forth like the fury of a god. Spiced wine. Seems there's it's free. Always more to be done. Nice. We take another one. Then, if you need a good rumor or two, I think I can oblige. Captain Welcome Pius. to the Winking Skeever, friend. Could we? Oh, yes. Take a look. Oh, 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 yes. Wait, 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 wait. Let's sate that appetite. Hmm? You got milk. We buy... How many? Six bottles. Ah, excellent. Okay. And... The boiled egg. That's healthy. Let's not eat that. Um... Fill these bottles. Thank you very much, and I would also want to. Sure thing. Room. It's yours for a day. Excellent. I'll show you to your room. Thank I you. Swipe. Where? Spare some gold. Veteran? Oh, God, we are so tired. Oh, oh, wait, wait, I don't. Oh, damn it. I don't even know who is this is chest. Gold. Equipment. Equipment. Clothes. Go hide. It's not. before they regret anything. Potion of healing. I'm just taking this. Yes. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Traitors, civil wars, dragons. Huh. Those troubles don't cross Oops. my doorway. So sit, relax. Excellent, but what the fuck is this man? Why the fuck are you in my room? Trust me when I say you will want to steer clear of me. Well, fuck off. <laughs> can, can you get out of my fucking room? This is my room. Get the fuck out of here. I, I think this is my room. Yes, it is. Get out.
this is valuable. I tell you, I tell you, the dragon ah, comes. let's leave it. I can't carry out many bottles. But this one we can carry. Believe, believe the dragon Olaf and the dragon. Ah, we leave. We, we, we read that before we sleep. Okay. Let's sit down. <laughs> it's outside, I feel the view. <laughs> I think we need to put it a bit longer away because otherwise we can't reach it. Did you just enter my room? Better for you that you didn't. I need to eat this. Okay. Yes, exactly. Ah, excellent. How, how good. We are full. But we would want to drink something. How about some boiled wine? Oh, it's some food, I mean, yeah. Ah, spiced wine. Excellent. How good. Just before sleep. Excellent. There are many interesting books here. Well, we shall be changing to a better night robe. I only sleep in a fine lens of cloth and without any weird stuff on but we drink to our youth we to the days come and damn it nobody sleeps with bows and arrow excellent the age of aggression is just about done where is our night robe i thought i put it on ah fine folks sleep in a fine cloth we'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own with our blood we should read our this seal. though Olaf and the Dragon by Nato Leotelli. One of the more colorful legends in the Nord folklore is the tale of Olaf One Eye and Luminex. Long ago in the first age, a fearsome dragon named Luminex ravaged the whole of Skyrim. The dreadful rake wiped out entire villages, burned cities, and killed countless lords. It seemed that no power in Tamriel could stop the master. Monster. This was a troubled time in Skyrim's history, for a bitter war of secession raged between the Holds. The Jarls might have been able to conquer the beast if they had worked together, but trust was in desperately short supply. A skillful warrior named Olaf came forward and promised to defeat the beast. In some accounts, he's the jaw of Whiterun. In other version of the legend, Olaf promises the people of Whiterun that they will capture the monster if they name will name him Jarl. At any rate, Olaf ventures forth with a handful of his most trusted warriors and seeks the beast out. Eventually, finding Numinex in his lad of Mountain Althor. Needless to say, it's an epic battle. First, Olaf comes at the dragon with his axe and his shield. Some variants of the legend say that Olaf and the beast battle with blade and claws for days, but they were too evenly matched for either to gain an advantage. Most accounts hold that Olaf perhaps frustrated that his weapon are completely ineff ineffectual against the dragon. Finally, cast them aside, giving a voice to the rage that has been building within him. Olaf unleashes a terrible shout. Here again, the stories diverge. 
Many accounts hold that Olaf did not realize that he possessed the power of dragon speech, while others suggest that it had long possessed his gift, but wished to test himself against the dragon in martial combat first. Virtually all variations of the legends, however, agree on what happened next. Using this awesome powers of the dragon language, Minex and Olaf engage in an epic shouting duel atop Mountain Athor, so forceful that they are that the words if they are set to shatter stones and split the sky. Finally, Numenex collapses from a combination of injury and sheer extortion. Somehow, and this detail is conspicuously absent in virtually every account, Olaf managed to convey the dragon of all the way back to the capital city of Whiterun. The people of Whiterun are suitably impressed with all of us. They build a huge stone holding cell at the rear of the end, at the rear of the palace, which they name Dragon's Reach. This enormous cell serves as Nimenex's prison until his death. Olaf himself eventually becomes the High King of Skyrim, putting an end to the war of the succession. Presumably his great deed made him the only leader among all people could agree, and so the land again has peace. As a visitor to Skyrim, I find this tale both fascinating and highly entertaining. It is one of the most celebrated legends of the Norths. One can easily understand why its story of surpassing areas in which resourceful and worthy Norths does battle with the truly terrifying adversary and emerges victorious by shelling him into submission. Oh, the only way in which this could have been even more of a Nordic tale would be if Olaf beat Nominex in a drinking contest. The legend is not without its doubts, however, it's hard. The hard as fuck nearly lived during Olaf's raging fruit and performed an alliterative verse to challenge Olaf first among the legends. A rage die king through the rebellious heart, the rebellious heart imprisoned and destroyed all written cups of the verse. I know I would love to lay hands on a copy of that verse. I, uh, I admit I am immensely curious to know what assertions Vagni made about how all of Rita defeated the Minex. There are a few ancient hard texts that prove one possible answer. These tombs suggest that Numenex was partially fault tempered because he was extremely old. But, oh well, these accounts the dragon spends its final years terrorizing the countryside before flying off to the top of Mount I thought to die in peace. When Olaf finds Numenex, the dragon is too weak to defend himself, and Olaf and his men get to the peace without effort, but decide to take advantage of the situation by fabricating a heroic tale. Water. It's worth nothing that all of all of warriors who were said to witness the duel went on the short the shout duel went on to become wealthy leaders during all of Regin as a high king. However, it's equally it is equally likely that Svagni has made some grudge against Olaf and his scandals first that were to attempt to damage the high king's reputation. Alas, we will never know. I leave you now, good reader, this gentle reminder of a good historian must remain partial and consider the points of your Time has a way to start in a record of events, so the closer you can get to the original resources, the better. Well, we will take isn't that truth?
What's the time? Oh, it's late. Oh, no. Let's sleep a time. We accidentally waited an hour, but we probably need seven hours of good sleep after this battle. So, I'll...